knowledge shall be increased. Daniel not only declared that our day would be marked by running to and fro, but also gave another indication. Knowledge shall be increased. Surely we have this fulfillment also. Instead of plowing with a crooked stick, we have up-to-date steam plows, which accomplish a hundred times the work. Contrast writing upon stone and upon parchment, laborious and expensive, with our modern printing. Contrast the beginning of printing with today. No printing establishment in the world better illustrates the perfection of this art in our day than does the United States Government Printing Office at Washington. No library better illustrates modern learning than does the Congressional Library. Today, the learning is not confined to the great, the wealthy, or the few. It is general. The schools of the civilized world are full, and thus, too, knowledge is increasing. How wonderful that God foreknew all these things and foretold them through Daniel's prophecy 25 centuries ago, saying, Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Here we have it. We are evidently in the time of the end mentioned, and well we may rejoice in the oncoming new age. No longer do we hold that the world will literally end, and with a combustion which will reduce it to a cinder. We are ready to believe God's word, that he created not the earth in vain. He formed it to be inhabited, to be the paradise home of humanity, regenerated under Messiah's kingdom. Year by year we see the earth preparing for full inhabitation. Recent earthquakes closed some and opened other channels of the Japan stream, affecting the climate of Alaska and the Arctic zone remarkably. Gradually the glaciers in the form of icebergs are running out and dissolving in the more equatorial waters. Gradually, the earth is preparing to blossom as the rose. Gradually, the curse will be removed, and the blessing of God will be substituted.